Okay. This morning, the staff outnumbered the customers inside of Flames in San Jose. Six of us on the floor yesterday, and a lot of us made pretty much nothing because they're dining and leaving, dining and leaving, and they're just not dropping a tip. The 4th Street business is already cutting shifts for wait staff and staggering start times to adjust to the new normal, which includes plenty of personal space for customers. We space everybody out. You sit in the booth, we space you out. And if you sit at the bar, we do space you according to um, once one chair away from each other. They're following the governor's request to spread out at restaurants and eateries and customers are staying home. I had over $300 in uh, DoorDash orders yesterday. Uh, Grubhub, I probably had 50. But waiters don't get a cut from delivery orders, leaving them empty handed at the end of their shift. A few blocks away, business at City Bagel is also quiet. With more companies telling employees to stay home, there's beginning to be a trickle down effect, says owner Kim Tang. If the company is still open, they still come. But if the company not open, I don't think the employee is going to come. She's thankful, though, for regulars like Michael, who kept to his morning routine. Kim is one of the hardest working people I've ever met. Um, and so, you know, we have to make sure Kim and others take care of her family and take care of San Jose. Kim only has a few employees, so she's hoping her ability to keep costs low will help her survive the coronavirus slump in the weeks ahead. But she'd rather see you in person now. City Bagel will be here for you guys. Just come in when they come and whenever you got hungry. Yeah, I'm going to be here. <laughs>